went to a store to get a Batman book, and I left with some Golden Age goodies. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube comic community, it's Jimmy the Geek Aficionado, and I went hunting again, which is not really a big surprise. Um, this time in particular, I was looking for a Batman book. A Batman book that I had seen at a store that was a little bit pricier than I would have liked to get at the time, but it's a great presenting, <clears throat> not presenting, but it's, it's a great copy. It's a copy in great condition. Uh, it fills a hole, uh, and it, it, it is a Joker book. So uh, I, did, uh, I did need to pick it up, so I, I went back to the store to get it. And that book is um, Batman number 353 uh, with a, a fantastic Joker cover um, on it. And uh, I think there's a, this, this looks to me like almost an homage to uh, uh, Wonder Woman uh, 20, I want to say it's 205 where she's uh, strapped to a, a bomb, but uh, still pretty funny. Um, but it's also, it, it also here has a, uh, an extra 16 page comic preview of Masters of the Universe, which was the uh, mini series that, that DC Comics had put out uh, following the popularity of DC Comics Presents number 47 uh, with Superman and the Masters of the Universe, the first time those characters are seen in comics. Uh, so I, I did pay up for, on this guy. This was like 50 bucks, but uh, if you've seen my, my stalking the bat uh, video run, you know that you know it's it's on the list. I had to get it. Uh, it was the only place I'd seen the book, and it was a super nice, clean copy. So went back for this guy, and um, came back with some more than just that guy. Um, you know, as as per usual, uh, this was a book that I had been trying to find uh, for some time. Uh, shout out to Biggie Shack. Uh, he had gotten a copy a little bit ago and I was like, I really need to get that book. Uh, it's, uh, if you're fans of the DC universe and especially uh, the, the TV show, this is Doom Patrol. Uh, season three of the Doom Patrol introduces uh, this group here. This is the Brotherhood of Evil. Uh, featuring Monsieur Mala and uh, uh, the brain in the jar guy there. Uh, and there's another woman who, uh, like Madame, Madame Mystique, I think, or something like that. Uh, anyway, but this is, uh, yeah, this is the first appearance of that group. Uh, this is also the first issue of the Doom Patrol as their own series. This is issue number 86. Uh, prior to this, uh, they were featured in My Greatest Adventure, which is where their first appearance was. Uh, approximately 10 issues earlier uh, and this was uh, this was really inexpensive it's 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 got some wear it's, it's got that spine roll that I've got to fix but uh, it's a great presenting copy and and that's all I was really looking for I just wanted a copy of it I want to be able to read it and uh, and have a nice present copy before I send it off to get graded so it's probably like a four but uh, no big deal there right because the time period fours are fours are always good in a, in, a, in a silver age book so anyway happy to have that one and finally, you know, get that one to close out. And then up on the wall, he had some Golden Age. And I was like, hmm, uh, I don't have any of these books. And, um, well, I don't have a lot of Golden Age, for that matter. But these were just great to be able to pick up and have. They're complete. They're pretty chewed up. But they're Golden Age, right? You know, so we don't expect to find Golden Age often in grades above 1.8, right? Because of the time period, right? It, it's stuff's... 80 years old in some cases, right? Um, so getting them is just uh, a fantastic opportunity. Uh, so this first one here, this is All-Star Comics, issue number 30, featuring the Justice Society of America there on the cover. You got uh, Hawkman, Adam, Flash, um, looks like uh, Our Man, you got Our Man, you got uh, Green Lantern, you got Wonder Woman. I don't know who this guy is in the center, though. Maybe that's Johnny Thunder. It might be Johnny Thunder uh, who summons a genie. Uh, so it, it's it's super cool, and uh, and I dig it. And yeah, I mean it's rough. It's missing some pieces and such, but uh, 
happy to get, you know, an, a nice golden age book. Uh, like I said, it's still complete, right? It's got all the wraps and everything like that. No, no pieces cut from the inside. A little bit of chipping and such, you know, around, but nothing major. Um, I think I paid 125 for that one. Uh, and this, I can never find Green Lantern, like old school Golden Age Green Lantern books. Uh, and uh, they had this All American Comics number 72 featuring Green Lantern at, uh, uh, was it the Rumors of the Round Table? Looks like he's fighting a, a Knight of the Round Table there. Uh, but again, very cool uh, OG Green Lantern. Volume 1, Gen 1, whatever you want to call him. Uh, the Ellen Scott uh, Green Lantern. So pre, pre Guardians of the, uh, not Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, pre Guardians of Oa and, uh, and Hal Jordan. So also very cool. This one, uh, this one was 85. But just finding them, right? Like opportunity buys. If you can find Golden Age out in the wild, pick it up. I mean, if you've learned anything from watching any of these videos, go watch Ox the Comic Order. When he finds Golden Age books, he's going to pick them up because you never know what you're going to do with them, right? If, if they fit into your collection or if you can move them on to somebody else, whatever the case is. Uh, but yeah, these are awesome. Uh, and, and that's all I got. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for clicking play. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell and uh, you'll find out when I've got another video to, to bring out. So, thanks.